Stop me if you've ever seen that before. Ridiculous. How do those... I, I don't even know what to say. I don't. I don't even know what to say. You, you ever just know? You just knew. It was a mirror image of the drive Tennessee had. The exact same thing. George Wilson dropping interceptions. Ridiculous fourth down conversions. Who was that? Uh, was that Austin Pettis? Just reaches back on fourth and one, pass way behind him, and just somehow it sticks to his hand. And, oh my god. Unreal. You get the help you need. Pittsburgh loses. Cincinnati loses. They both lose at home. Like, uh, all you got to do is handle business. You're right in the thick of things. Don't do it. Standard. That's life. That's the life of a being playing for the Bills. Like it, it doesn't matter who the coach is, who the GM is, who the quarterback is, who the left tackle is, who the running back is, how many carries the running back's getting, who, how highly paid our defensive end is, if our corners are rookies or not, if our safeties are in contract years. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who it is. I'm just I, I was getting with ridiculous things there on purpose because it doesn't matter what the scenario is. The Bills have been losing games like that for ten plus years. The Bills it is the stigma that is the Buffalo Bills blowing football games, and that's what they did. I don't really blame the defense for the loss. They only allowed seven points up to that point. They only allowed fifteen points in total, and. Truth be told, they, they should have won that game. That's it. But they allowed a 14-play, 84-yard drive in the last drive of the game. Couldn't Nobody on that team, not George Wilson. I noticed they didn't throw at Jared Bird much. They didn't throw at Gilmore much on that last drive. They went after Ron Brooks. Smart, smart play. So why doesn't... I don't know. I, I'm trying to think. Like, why doesn't I know they don't? They just don't switch sides. Why doesn't Bird go over to Brooks's side? I maybe he did. I I don't know. I wasn't paying that close attention. I was just miserable, absolutely miserable. I'm a horrible, horrible employee of the Buffalo Bills when they lose, because I don't want to talk to anybody, especially when they lose in that fashion. There's just nobody on that defense that's just like, I'll go make a play. I'll go do it. Crunch time. Bird, maybe, but they didn't throw at Bird. No pressure. They didn't send any blitzers. They were just, let's stay back. Let's stay back and make them beat us. And they did. It wasn't even Justin Rogers' fault this time. I can't even blame Justin Rogers. I can't even use him as a scapegoat because it wasn't his fault. Whose fault is it? I think everyone's pointing at the same person, that being Chan Gailey. Totally handcuffed his team. Why didn't he kick a 50-yard field goal to try to take an 8-point lead? Well, there's a way of looking at it that he trusts his defense to get him the ball back or to make a stop, which they should have, but they didn't. Um, or maybe they did off that drive. I think they did. But the offense went nowhere after that. Why? Because they didn't give the ball to C.J. Spiller, who only had eight touches all game. If you haven't seen my my Chan Gailey style, or not Chan Gailey style, parody of Gognum style, you should watch it now. Because you should go to my page and watch it. Because it has never rung so true as it does this week. Pass it on. Because for some reason, Buffalo media is like shunning it. I, I can't get anybody to see it. I I can get people to see it, people to tweet about it, but I can't get anybody like GR or anybody else in Buffalo media to acknowledge it. Whatever. Not been out of shape about it. Probably coming up with a new one pretty soon. We'll see how that goes. So stay tuned for that. It, it I don't even, there's no, there's nothing for me to analyze or to break it down for you. The Bills weren't down. They weren't losing. They just didn't give the ball to CJ Spiller. Because it was Fred's turn. By the way, Fred Jackson, speedy recovery. 
Hope all is well with you. Looking forward to having you back next year. I'm just not, I'm not sold on this. It's his turn. You ride the hot hand. Uh, CJ Spiller, seven carries, 37 yards. That's five yards to carry. I know it doesn't, doesn't jump off the page, but that's still over five yards to carry. Fred Jackson, nine carries, 14 yards, fumbled once inside the red zone. Had a nice play on a screen pass, maybe two nice plays on a screen pass, but come on. Gilmore got robbed of a pick six by a phantom penalty call. He does get the ball back and just pretty much play for a field goal. That's Chan Gailey's style. I don't think, I, I think Chan Gailey's going to get an extra year. Uh, I'm, most people don't want that to happen, but this team just has such a propensity to fire coaches after three years. It's ridiculous. It's because they haven't found the right guy, but. Yeah, I. Chan Gailey's sort of tied to Fitz. It's like Chan Gailey's ego won't let him bench Fitz or move on from Fitz because he wants to prove that he can succeed with him. Because he, in his words, he's seen him do it. Not that Fitz did anything serious to lose in the game. I mean, we all knew the pick was coming at the end. After the sack, at least. The offensive line was terrible, by the way. Levitri was bad. Corey Glenn was bad. David Snow was terrible. Sam Young isn't good at all. Craig Urbick, I think, was the only one I didn't have a problem with. Sucks. It's like the season, the season's over. That's it. And now we play the Seahawks this week. I gotta go to Toronto. I'm going. Go in there, section 140. 141, one of those. Whatever. Should be fun, I guess. Watch you play the Seahawks. Marshawn Lynch is back. Sweet. Seahawks are 8 and 5. Bills are 5 and 8. Writing's kind of on the wall there. Seahawks aren't that good on the road, but it's sort of a neutral site. And the Seahawks, they actually did just beat the Bears on the road last week. They just thumped Arizona 58 to nothing. Do I think the Bills are going to compete with that? No. Could they? Maybe. But like Bruce Irvin and whoever whoever else is on that D-line, oh my God. Just was Red Bryant. I, I don't even know who else, to be honest with you. Richard Sherman might has have his appeal heard. Brandon Browner will play. But at the same time, the Bills can't protect Fitz there. I mean, they just don't have the line. It's just going to get beat up. And then Spiller still had five yards of carry, even with that line. But they only had seven carries. We weren't losing. Why? I, I, oh, my God. I'm getting a headache. I'm getting a headache thinking about it. I don't... I don't know what else to tell you about that. It's just it's such a loss for words. How can he justify that it's Fred Jackson's turn to go in when you have this guy who's averaging over six yards of carry on the season? It's not Little League football. Or that he gets winded? He just billers in shape, trust me. He doesn't get tired that quickly. I'm sure he gets tired. But after a 15-yard pl- pass play on a screen pass, I'm sure he's not tired. He could probably go. Fred Jackson gets hurt. Who comes off the bench to shard choice? Seriously? That's coaching. Chan Gailey totally handcuffed his team on Sunday and cost them their season. May not have been him all season, but it was him on Sunday. In a game they absolutely had to have. And they blew it. Brings up the Seahawks, like I said. Russell Wilson's playing very well. <clears throat> he will burn the Bills with his legs at least once if Sam Bradford can do it. Andrew Luck can do it. Kevin Cobb can do it. Russell Wilson will do it. Marshawn's running so well. Bill's defense is playing pretty well, though. 
I just like I said, I just don't see the Bills having success against Seattle's defense, and it, it's it, it's just struggling me for even like preview this for you guys because of what happened last week and what could have been, and just just terrible. Going the Bills, they'll probably just come out and win this game, but I I don't think so. I think they're disadvantaged severely on the offensive line. CJ Spillers is starting running back, and that's great, but. I, I I don't see I don't see him having a ton of success against Seattle. They know he's the main focal point and granted he's got superstar potential, but with that offensive line the way it is beat up, there's you know, there there's different ways to attack it and I think they'll figure it out. Bill's defense probably doesn't have too much of an advantage, I think. They definitely have an advantage on the defensive line, the way the defensive line is played. But, you know, blitz. I mean, it's easy for a quarterback. That's why Bradford and all those guys, they got away. Like, it's easy for a quarterback to get away when there's only four rushers. Granted, the four rushers, they've been getting there lately. But there's only four rushers, and there's five offensive linemen. So do the math. All you have to do is sidestep one or two of them, and he's probably got some room to run. And that that's what that's what's happening. I've been very pleased with the way the Bills' defense has played the past month, the past six weeks, even against the Patriots. Even though I said that defense was the most prominent issue, I, I it was at the time, it was just because it was Tom Brady. And look at the way Tom Brady's playing. Out of his mind. So for the Bills to only allow 37 points to the Patriots on the road, the Texans just gave up 42. So... Like I said, I'm encouraged by defense. What's it going to come down to? Is it what is it going to come down to a dumb Chan Gailey decision again? We're in a dome. Will we kick a 50-yard field goal? I don't know. Probably not. There's what there it is. The Bills lose 19 to 17 because Chan Gailey passes up a 50-yard field goal at the end of the game. <laughs> We had a better shot with the Hail Mary. Oh my God. 19 to 17 Seahawks. Guys, are, these videos are getting shorter because I'm I'm struggling. 13 minutes is, is one of my shorter ones lately. But thanks for coming this far. We do not want to lose on purpose. We don't care about our draft pick right now. Remember that. Go Bills.